but the painter. Uh, that's spelled differently. <laughs> According to the Census Bureau in Kansas, our poverty rates for 2010 were 13.5%. The national average in 2010 was 15.1. So while we were a little lower, we were still pretty high. And poverty has really taken its toll on Kansas and its residences. Now the poverty thresholds in Kansas, according to the Bureau, the Census Bureau, are very low. For one person under the age of 65, like myself, the threshold is only $11,344. Now imagine you're paying $430 a month for a one bedroom apartment, and you're paying $200 a month for some health insurance and dental insurance because while it's a luxury, you want to stay alive. So that leaves you with $3,784 to live off of for 12 months. $315 a month. I still have to pay electricity, which is going up every month. I still have to pay for gas to get to work. I still have to pay for insurance on my car or bus fare because all of a sudden I can't afford my insurance let alone food or prescriptions. I can relate because I was in those shoes. No person should have to face that ever. That fear you wake up with is unimaginable. <coughs> it is terrifying. You should never have to choose between food, gas to get to work, or electricity to keep your lights on. Now imagine that same scenario with a mother, with a child, her threshold is $14,602 a year. She still must send her child to school and give him hot meals. Now don't feed me that line about marriage fixed with poverty, okay? Yeah. Childhood poverty in Kansas was an astonishing 7.2% in 2009. The Annie E. Casey Foundation found out in 2010 that Kansas was the 19th state for child well-being. That's ridiculous. Poverty was the leading factor in that. Now, a living wage is not much to ask for as people of Kansas. And as people of this country, we deserve wages that are fit for a life worth living, or at least to give our future generations a better upbringing. Just recently, a man nearing retirement told me he wasn't sure how he was gonna live off of his $15 an hour, and it was, and I quote, barely a living wage nowadays. He doesn't understand how lucky he is to get that $15 an hour. Our own government, our own legislator, members of ALEC, you are letting this happen to us. My name is Michelle Pollock. I am part of the 99%. I stand in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street. I stand in solidarity with Occupy Wichita. I ask our government, our legislator, to please put an end to poverty and introduce a living wage. Thank you for your time.